Hi everybody, this is Farouk, the founder of the website RomoSam.com that gets a half a million visits each month and that has got 11 million visits so far. In this video I'm going to talk about one of the very important topics. It's an extremely important topic which is how the music you listen to affects your brain, mood and mind. We all like music and we all listen to songs but do you know that these songs can affect the way you think and your brain structure? Let me tell you more about the music psychology. First of all, why do you think you sometimes listen to a motivational song and become motivated and in another time listen to the same song and feel nothing? Simply because music psychology follows a concept which is called resonance, which states that people only prefer to listen to music that matches their current emotional states. This means that if you were feeling angry or mad, then most probably you would prefer to listen to a rock song, of course provided that you like rock. And so, people only like to listen to music that resonates with their current emotions. On the other hand, if you listen to a music or a song that resonates with your current mood, then this music or this song will multiply your current emotional state. For example, if you're feeling angry or mad and then you listen to a rock song, then your mood will intensify and you'll feel more angry. The same happens when you listen to a trance song while you're happy. You'll become even happier and you'll feel better. And so, the main or one of the main uses of music is to multiply your pleasant emotional states. The second concept is very dangerous, it's called subconscious mind programming and it states that if a certain statement was repeated more than once then it might turn into a belief. The words that you listen to each day in a certain song get repeated until they become beliefs, until they turn into beliefs and then shape your belief system and affect how you behave in life. I do coach people who break up and one of the main reasons most of them fail to recover quickly is that they have got false beliefs that they acquired from songs. We have got lots of songs that tells you how hard it is to break up, how bad you should be feeling after a breakup, and how bad life should be if you broke up. And these songs shape your belief system and make you unable to recover. And one of the first advice I give to people who break up is that they should stop listening to these songs that poisons their belief system. And so there is a famous saying that says that you are what you eat, which is true, but you are also what you listen to. Actually music is much more dangerous than food. After all food might affect your mood, but the music you listen to affects your brain and affects the way you think. And so please, pick your music wise wisely. Here in the Arab world, most of the music we have is about breakups and how bad a person should feel after a breakup and that's why people never manage to recover after breakups, or most of them. They just find it so hard because they have got this belief that they cannot recover. And so, please pick your music wisely. This was everything for today. Um, I'm sure I'll post more videos, so if you want more of them, just feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you want more information, just feel free to contact me on my website, www.tronomyself.com.